What is happening today in Westminster is that MPs are going to be voting on whether to accept the deal, the Brexit deal that has been negotiated by the Prime Minister Theresa May. What the problem is, it seems as if Theresa May, the Prime Minister, is going to lose that vote tonight. The eyes to the right, 202. The nose to the left, 432. of tonight's vote, it's right that others have the chance to test that question if they wish to do so. I can therefore confirm that if the official opposition table a confidence motion this evening in the form required by the Fixed Term Parliaments Act, the government will make time to debate that motion tomorrow. This is a lurch in the direction of this country that was decided on or offered to be decided on a single binary vote rather than what's the future direction of this country. Um, the, the vote was either remain, which, is, which was pretty much looked like the status quo and not a future direction of travel, and leave was just leave. It, what, it, there, was no, there was nothing behind it about what that would mean. So who are you blaming? Cameron? Cameron and May. It's not just Brexit, it's about austerity, it's about health, it's about education. How are we going to bring the country together and have civilised chats about how we move this country forward? The second reassurance is to the British people who voted to leave the European Union in the referendum two and a half years ago. I became Prime Minister immediately after that referendum. I believe it's my duty to deliver on their instruction and I intend to do so. Afternoon. Why are you here today? Um, we're here because we, uh, well, I'm here because I don't like Brexit and I want Brexit to stop. Um, but specifically, Theresa May's uh, deal is being voted on in Parliament and we're campaigning uh, for that deal to be voted down to make way for a people's vote on Brexit. What's your name? Uh, my name's Danny. Danny? And Helen. Danny and Helen, I'm very bad with names, yeah? Helen! How are you? <laughs> I'm joking. Why are you here today? Uh, we're here to um, basically protest. Um, we want Theresa May's deal to be voted down tonight. We want it to, ideally, government should take responsibility and revoke Article 50, and if not, um, it should come back to the people for a vote. Um, this is not what we voted for. This is not what the country wants. Um, reduces my children's freedom of movement, uh, our business opportunities, our economy. Um, the lies about food and clothing being cheaper, absolute nonsense for anyone who's uh, worked in those industries. And uh, 
the only unicorns we believed are in our stuffed unicorns. And we believe we're all stuffed unless we can turn this over. So that's, that's an excellent answer. I'm now coming to you, Mum. Yeah. My name's not Danny. I know it's not Danny. I'm laughing and joking. So. Why are you here today? I'd reiterate a lot of what Danny said actually. Um, what really upsets me more than anything these days is the mess that this country's been in probably for about three decades. I know why people voted leave. I understand why they voted leave. They want a better life and I want a better life for everybody. Um, leaving the EU is never going to let us do that. It's only going to make things more difficult. I think the, the really pitiful thing here is just that people have been fed a load of um, a load of fantasies and they've been led to believe that voting and uh, leaving the European Union is going to help us put this country back together. It's not going to happen. But I ask members on all sides of the House to listen to the British people who want this issue settled and to work with the government to do just that. And who are you? Uh, very well, looking for a referendum. <laughs> You're not, are you? <laughs> so you've decided to come down here. Yeah. And are you enjoying it? Some of it's a bit sad, some of the things I'm hearing. Yeah, what are you hearing? Well, obviously people arguing. Yeah. Someone shouting, no immigrants! Just shouting that, um, just shouting all sorts, and then it's making people argue, yeah. getting a bit beefy. Yeah, of course, that's why I'm here, but do you think I'm worried about people saying no immigrants? Me, I'm an immigrant man, so why should I worry? Well, my, I come from immigrants. Yeah, of course, so, you know, my they have the right to protest and yeah. say... My granddad is an immigrant, he moved to London from Malta. No, oh, so, excellent, excellent well, stuff. I just think... Um, Are you enjoying yourself, yeah? you don't understand people's mentality... Yeah, of course, it's, yeah. It's to to uh, so this gentleman next door, who is he? My boyfriend. Your man? Hello, Giza. If the official opposition table a confidence motion this evening in the form required by the Fixed Term Parliaments Act, the government will make time to debate that motion tomorrow. And if has happened before Christmas, the official opposition declined to do so, we will, on this occasion, consider making time tomorrow to debate any motion in the form required from the other opposition parties, should they put one forward. Second, second, if the House confirms its confidence in this government, I will then hold meetings with my colleagues, our confidence and supply partner, the DUP, and senior parliamentarians from across the House to identify what would be required to secure the backing of the House. The government will approach these meetings in a constructive spirit, but given... Why are you down here today? You're playing music. Extinction Rebellion. Yeah? yeah so so why is it important to add some music to what's going on today? Add some music? Yeah, of course, that's what you're doing, isn't it? Because it lifts people's spirits. Aye, so you're lifting spirits. <laughs> As I make my way through the lines, we've just gone past the Democracy Bell, and I'm walking through the crowds. And as we can see down here in Westminster, everyone is enjoying themselves. They've got their flags, they've got their placards, and even the photographers, they're all getting into their lovely, unusual positions to make sure they get a good angle. But given, given the need, urgent need to make progress, we must focus on ideas that are genuinely negotiable and have sufficient support in this House. Third, if these meetings yield such ideas, the government will then explore them with the European Union. Mr Speaker, I want to end by offering two reassurances. I've always believed that the best way forward is to leave in an orderly way with a good deal and have devoted much of the last two years negotiating such a deal. Can I ask you a question, Mum? Yeah. Go on. 
It's a very easy question. Why are you down here tonight? To support a people's vote. Yeah. I've voted leave, I changed my mind, and now I've got a people's vote. Uh -huh. So why did you change your mind? Because I thought Remain would win. Uh -huh. And I just wanted to give the EU a bloody nose, really. And uh -huh. then I decided, next morning, when I saw Nigel Farage's gloating face, what a mistake. The government have heard, has heard what the House has said tonight. But I ask members on all sides of the House to listen to the British people who want this issue settled. And to work with the government to do just that. I will come to a for it. First of all, we are the leader of the opposition, Jeremy Corbyn. Good evening, Mum. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Very so much. why are you down here? in Westminster tonight? I was born in Czech Republic, but I've been here most of my life. Uh -huh. And I feel I'm an EU citizen. I don't feel I'm English, I don't feel I'm Czech. I belong to the EU. The results of tonight's vote is the greatest defeat for a government since the 1920s in this House. This is a catastrophic defeat for this government. After two years of failed negotiations, the House of Commons has delivered its verdict on her Brexit deal, and that verdict is absolutely decisive. Is that you would like to see a new leader emerge, and you would like either, to see Boris? Either end it completely, because we don't need any leaders, or uh, if we have to have another leader, let's put Boris up and see what he does. Uh, so, Everybody sleeps him. But I, I think uh, let's talk about Dale Boris. Let's talk about Boris, the blonde bombshell. Why do you like him? Because he's funny. And funny wins every time, right? Ah. I hear the words of the Prime Minister, but actions of a government of the past two years speak equally clearly. She is only attempting to reach out now to try to keep her failed process and deal alive after it's been so roundly rejected by Parliament on behalf of the people of this country. Labour has laid out our priorities consistently. No deal... No deal must be taken... No deal must be taken off the table. A permanent customs union must be secured and people's rights and protections must be guaranteed so they do not fall behind. At every turn, the Prime Minister has closed the door on dialogue. Businesses begged her to negotiate a comprehensive customs union. Trade union leaders pressed her for the same thing. They were ignored. In the last two years, she's only had one priority, the Conservative Party. What are you eating? Bourbon. Bourbon? Where's mine? Oh, nom, 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 nom. nom. <laughs> Thank you. Why are you here? I don't need that, I want you. You well, tell me. Because I voted to leave and they're trying to overturn the biggest democratic vote in history. So why was it important for you to be here today? Because there's a very important vote taking place at the House of Commons and I'm quite prepared to come out and go WTO rules. Do you think that Theresa will lose the vote in about two hours and 15 minutes or thereafter. I think she will, but I think it'll be closer than they think. Hold on, all the experts are saying 100, 200, and you are saying it's going to be close. I think it'll be closer. Closer? Yeah, I think maybe about 70. About 70? Yes. Yeah. And what, brother, what's the basis for your position that would be close? Please will bottle it. They'll bottle it? Yeah, they'll bottle it. So they're scaredy, scaredy cats. Like, uh. The governing principle of delay and denial has reached the end of the line. She cannot seriously believe that after two years of failure, she is capable of negotiating a good deal for the people of this country. The most important issue facing us is 
that the government has lost the confidence of this House and this country. I therefore, Mr Speaker, inform you I have now tabled a motion of no confidence. And I'm pleased, I'm pleased that motion will be debated tomorrow so this House can give its verdict on the sheer incompetence of this government and pass that motion of no confidence in the government. This is a historic and important moment on our journey towards sorting this mess out and we have only got here because of the endeavour, the courage and the passion of every single person that has been campaigning. So please let's have a big cheer for everybody who's been part of our movement and for all the MPs who did the right thing! Why are you here today? Because of the vote. Yeah? What's going on? You tell me. <laughs> you tell the story, not me. <laughs> To know, wouldn't we? We'd like to know what goes on in that house over there. Uh -huh. uh, there's some sort of they're plotting, they're plotting there. <clears throat> we don't know, we can't trust them anymore. You can't trust them, so uh, what outcome are you hoping for when the bell rings at seven o'clock this evening? That it goes down really well. <laughs> <laughs> Go, what do you mean by that? It goes down really well. Tell me what. Loads of people, I've loads of them in there vote against it. Uh -huh. But a lot, I mean a lot, not, uh -huh. just, you know, not just a few, uh -huh. which I think is probably what's going to happen. So tell me something, yeah? Why, in your opinion, is it important to leave the EU? Oh, God, where do I start? That's a nice, easy question, man. <laughs> well, because we all voted to come out, didn't we? Yeah, I know that, but I'm asking you. Well, I want Why is it important? I just feel like our country's being raped, quite honestly. That is a very strong term to use, but why do you feel that way? Because we're, we're, because everything's been stripped out of this country. Money, everything that we believed in, and our soldiers in the passport, for our freedom, our sovereignty, everything's been stripped out. Uh -huh. And we're just going to be left as a vassal state. Uh -huh. So, if the vote goes your way, what do you hope to achieve long term? Long term, I'd like, I'd like Mrs May to go start and then I'd like to see a Brexiteer in her place and let's 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 maybe we might have to start again. Uh -huh. At least start with a Brexiteer. That would be uh -huh. a good start. Okay, give me a few names. Give me a few names. <laughs> what, what, Boris? No, I don't I, actually I'm not a big fan of Boris. All right, then. I'll tell you who I do like. I like my own MP. And that is Teresa Villiers. Oh fair enough, fair enough. I really enough. like Teresa Villiers and I uh -huh. think I don't know I don't know whether she'd consider it, but uh -huh. I'd like to see her take Mrs. May's place actually. Excellent stuff. You know, we made some noise when we wanted them to do a people's vote. Let's make some noise to say thank you to them as well. Because I voted to leave two and a half years ago and I'm still waiting for the people in government to uh -huh. do something about it. Uh -huh. I want to leave. And what do you hope will be the outcome tonight after the vote? Well, I'm pretty sure yeah. Theresa's going to lose by about 200 votes. Uh Organisers want us to do is shut the F up and basically. How are you feeling now? The vote has gone your way. Young voices from our future, our choice. Give it up for them, please. Excellent. Did I see a tear in your eye earlier on? Maybe. 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 Yes. So you're feeling good, yeah? Yes. Well yes. done. Thanks a lot. 
Hello everyone. How are you two feeling now? It's all over. A young writing yeah? And I came to sit here from Leeds so that I demand a people's vote. Young people and the people of Britain deserve prosperity and stability. A people's vote is the only viable option that allows us to secure this. This is why I'm here to tell Theresa May that it's our future and it's our choice. So on behalf of millions of young people, I want to say here that we demand a people's vote. What are they doing in there? Are they fixing the NHS? Are they fixing the housing crisis? My street cam recording exactly what's going on. Hello! Hey. See, everyone is down here enjoying themselves. Yeah. So, I'm um, excellent stuff. We're enjoying ourselves for the moment. But You're enjoying The note is taken. We'll see. I've no doubt, and I'll we'll probably catch up with you later. Yeah. See, that's how uh, brilliant it is today. We're here recording. Everyone is interested about what is going on. And England is a great democratic country. People, they have the right to vote. They have the right to protest. We have protesters, if they don't like what's happening, they can come down here peacefully, and that's the great thing about this country. They can come here peacefully in this democratic society and they can protest. They can let their MPs think about what to do. And that's what's happening today.